pandemic has greatly boosted business for some and severely hindered it for others. This has certainly been the case between restaurants and third party delivery services. Jamie Perez looked into how the two work together and against one another. Jamie. So the relationship between the two is kind of a double edged sword. On one hand, you have these services that are getting a huge amount of business right now and they're employing a lot of people. And that means that technically these restaurants are also getting more business. But on the other side of things, these restaurants say that these services are actually taking business away from them at a time when they need it most. Restaurants are now relying on us to use curbside and takeout. Yes, it's true. They For Patrick Reha, who owns Beef Butter Barbecue, it's one of the main driving forces that keeps his restaurant going. Well, we prefer to see our customers. We do have a drive up service that we prefer them to use, but if they need delivery, Eat Street and other companies do provide a valuable service. Many restaurants who do not offer delivery on their own rely on third party delivery services. And while a lot of the time it's helping the restaurant manage orders and staff, sometimes it can be a double edged sword. It's seen as a bit of a necessary evil. Christine Hilmer is the CEO at the Wisconsin Restaurants Association. She said some third party delivery services are listing restaurant menus on their site as an option for customers without the restaurant agreeing to be a partner of theirs. Some of these third party deliveries will grab old menus, they'll put it on their website, and then they will purport that, oh, we deliver for these restaurants, and there's no relationship with the restaurant. Inaccurate menus, inaccurate prices, and the restaurants get shorthanded. So you might think that you are supporting your local restaurant, and it's not necessarily supporting them because sometimes the dollars that the restaurant is given doesn't even cover their expenses. I spoke with the CEO of Eat Street, a delivery service based here in Madison. He said his company always gets full permission from restaurants to establish that partnership where both sides reap the benefits. There are companies in our industry that will list restaurants menus without prior permission. That is not something we do at Eat Street. We want to make sure we work with each individual restaurant to make sure that they are successful and they want to be part of the platform. Thank you. Have a good day. Restaurant owners who agree to partner with Eat Street are given options to maximize their revenue. We up the menu prices about $2 per meal for the outside delivery companies to help cover that 30% charge that the delivery companies charge the restaurants. So the best thing you can do as a customer is call the restaurants and ask them what service works best for them. And I did reach out to some of the other third party delivery services to get their response on their business practices and Grubhub got back to me and this was their statement. They said, we'll add restaurants to our marketplace when we see local dinner demand for delivery. This is a model that other food delivery companies have been doing for years as a way to widen their restaurant supply and we're trying it as well to create a level playing field. Jamie, thank you. Coming up